Over the past 30 days, precipitation totals were below average for most of Arizona and New Mexico. Since early January, we have seen persistent warm and dry conditions, linked in part to a ridge of high pressure. Also, precipitation has been average to below average for much of the southwest for the last 90 days. However, if we shift our focus to the water year, which began on October 1st, we see that precipitation totals are much closer to average and even above average across much of New Mexico. In January, monthly temperatures were near average for most of Arizona and New Mexico, but as we moved into February, it became much warmer, with above average temperatures in many parts of the region. That same high pressure ridge that limited our precipitation is to blame for these temperatures, including record warm days across the region in early February. Warmer temperatures and below average precipitation have reduced our previously impressive snow water equivalent values back to near average across much of the southwest. This warm up and dry out is likely to taper at some point this season, but it is still uncertain how much additional winter precipitation will fall. Given past strong El Nino events, it is reasonable to expect at least some additional precipitation from now into spring. Long-term drought conditions continue across central and eastern Arizona and the western edge of central New Mexico. We saw a few runs of average to above average precipitation, which helped mitigate some of the short-term drought conditions. But multi-year droughts, such as those we've experienced during much of the 21st century, will require sustained above average precipitation over multi-year periods to fully recover. We are in the middle of a strong El Nino event forecast to remain in place through spring 2016. Outside of El Nino's influence, winter conditions for the southwest are relatively dry. So while we expect above average precipitation in an El Nino winter, it was never forecast to be a radical shift towards a soggy winter. That said, the extended hiatus in winter storm activity over the last month is longer than we have expected. And while the forecast models for the remainder of February look warm and dry, this pattern should eventually break. We should begin to see more winter and precipitation events most likely spread across March, and we should still see an above average cumulative precipitation total by the end of our cool season. The February 18th NOAA Climate Prediction Center three-month seasonal outlook continues to predict above average precipitation. Temperature forecasts are split, with increased chances for above average temperatures along the west coast and the Pacific Northwest, and below average temperatures for Texas and southeastern New Mexico.